Welcome back to the channel. You're here again with Inceptive Studios with another review on the Tamron 28 to 75 millimeter lens and why it's possibly the best budget lens that you can get for all your needs for your Sony Alpha camera. So without further ado, let's run that intro. For about $1,000 compared to $3,000 for a G Master 24 to 70 millimeter, you can sacrifice four millimeters and end up getting one of the craziest lenses at a budget price possible. I only spent a thousand bucks and I still feel like through all the lenses that I've used in all variations from the 35 millimeter Distagon to the 55 Zeiss to the 24 G Master, this has been the best, most versatile lens that I've put my hands on yet, especially for its price point. You just can't go wrong. How sharp is this lens what is the image quality like and i can attest to it and say that this lens will not disappoint anybody in terms of how sharp it is i would compare it somewhere near a g master because unless you're pixel peeping you're not going to really see the difference or unless you're on a huge crazy screen but at the end of the day for the price that you're paying you're really getting an incredible image out of this lens and if you have the right camera then i don't think that you should be worried too much about how sharp it is because most of the stuff in the market today is doing a phenomenal job in comparison to anything else that's been produced in the past 10 years anyways. But for the price point that you're paying for this lens, I'd say the image quality that's coming out of it is literally flawless and impeccable for what it's worth. I mean, when you're talking about weight, this thing here comes in at 550 grams compared to the G Master, which is about 886 grams. That's like two pounds extra in lens weight that you're putting onto the body that you have to carry around. And I'm sorry, like I don't want to carry around the gimbal with an extra two pounds of weight just for a lens that honestly, unless I'm pixel peeping, I can't really see the difference in quality for. So in my humble opinion, this thing for the weight and the cost, damn, like there's, there's just no question about it. It's incredible what they've done with this little piece of technology. They even went as far as creating weather sealing for this thing. Now, I've shot in rain, I've shot in snow, and I'm not talking like crazy downpour, but enough that you would consider if you should be shooting. And this lens has stood up to the test of time with it. And I'm talking about like two years of putting it through different conditions and different variables, and it's just never failed me. And I've never had an issue with being like, is it getting too wet? Should I bring it in yet? No, I just wipe it off here and there, but I've had this lens pretty damn wet and never ever had an issue with it. So if you're in any kind of like more extreme situations, I would say, that you could get away with quite a bit with this lens so i would not be too concerned if i were you the autofocus feature on this lens is really good it's actually really snappy and quick the motor is really silent on it also so if you needed to use it in an environment where silence is really key this is definitely something to consider when buying this lens something like this would not disappoint you when it comes to what you're paying for the focus you're also getting out of it too another thing that stood out to me is the fact that the other lens being the g master is like two thousand dollars more more, and it holds a 2.8 aperture and so does this one. I mean for a lens at this price point and you're paying $1,000 for a 2.8 constant aperture, I'd rather sacrifice the four millimeters as opposed to getting the G Master because at the end of the day it's not noticeable enough that you're going to be like holy crap this is so sharp on the G Master that I would just never think about getting the Tamron. We're talking about spending an extra $2,000 to get a 2.8 aperture the same as the 24 to 70 millimeter G Master and you can get the exact same thing on the Tamron for a thousand bucks and like I said unless you're looking for image quality and sharpness which isn't that crazy separated at all in my opinion because I've just never really noticed the difference and I work on some some pretty hefty projects that would consider like you know <laughs> keeping a lens that's really sharp enough to get the image you're looking for this thing is is not even a question in terms of like how good it is and you can shoot it in low light if you need to I've done it many times or you can shoot it in broad day and you get that same bokeh that you would get so I wouldn't be too good concerned about it at all for you. Another really neat feature about this lens is the fact that even at 28 millimeters, you can literally bring the lens a few inches from your subject and still get focus on it. And when you have, I know, only a 2.8, you can literally separate the whole background and get that buttery smooth bokeh to the point where it's like, you can't even tell what's behind whatever the subject is. So in my opinion, compared to the G Master, the amount of perks that you get for a thousand dollars in comparison to spending around three grand to get something that pretty much doesn't sell me enough on what it offers I would take this thing all day over
over it and one for the hills and yes i know if you had the budget you know go buy the g master if you really want to i'm not saying it's a bad lens because the thing is amazing but for the majority of people this thing is going to get the job done plus more and for what you're paying man you really can't go wrong and i would suggest that any person go after this and grab it if you have the budget for it all in all i'm just trying to give you my honest opinion on why i think this is one of the best lenses that you can get that money can buy for the sony alpha series if you're looking for something that suits every situation that can get you the shots you need in a crunch that you can shoot in low light that's really sharp that has a crazy autofocus like this is definitely something to consider so look into it if you have a chance it's been a pleasure sitting here talking to you guys about why i feel like this is the best thing that money can buy in terms of lenses versatility sharpness autofocus and all that good stuff hopefully i can help you guys when you're trying to make a choice on which is the next lens you feel like best suits what you're needing or if it's versatile enough to do everything you need to get done but as always you guys don't forget to comment down below hit that like button hit that subscribe button because it helps all the time with me sharing this stuff with you guys and i'll see you guys next week with the next review take it easy peace